Hello everyone, this is Mitch here from the Nine Hegarty Center, here with another project idea for you. Today we're going to do a project that uses collaging from rubbings we're going to make. Some supplies you'll need include some printer paper, some scissors, some glue stick, some pencil crayons with a variety of colors, uh, or a pencil, as well as oil pastels if you'd like. Make sure when you're choosing your papers to use paper that is thin, like printer paper or parchment paper, and avoid anything that is too thick because that won't work well for our project today. The second thing you need to do is find surfaces around your home. Uh, some good options include the floor, uh, wooden furniture, metal surfaces, anything that has a flat, hard, and textured surface. You can also use small flat objects like coins or plastic containers. Try and get creative. Sometimes uh, you might be surprised what makes a good rubbing. Now that you have some ideas of surfaces to use, I'll show you how to do the rubbing. First, choose your surface to make a rubbing from. Place your paper onto the surface and use tape to secure your paper to the surface. Now, using your drawing tool, evenly color across the entire surface of the paper. Color as much as you want to, but try to make it as evenly as possible if you want a uniform rubbing. If you're using uh, crayons or oil pastels, you can use the broad side of the material to make an even texture. If you press harder with your tool, you will make a graphic or darker rubbing. This drawing step uh, records the texture of the surface onto your paper. Do this with lots of different surfaces to make uh, lots of rubbings to choose from to use later. Next is to incorporate your rubbings together. Using scissors, you can cut out shapes to arrange into an image or a design. Once you're happy with an arrangement, if you have a glue stick, you can glue the shapes onto a backing piece of paper or take a picture with your phone or camera. In this first example, I used only pencil to create a black and white or monochromatic pattern using squares and rectangles of the rubbings overlapping together. Here in the corner are coins I did rubbings of. And in this final one, I used a single sheet of rubbings from different surfaces moved around using colored pencils to make a landscape. You can make a lot of interesting designs and images using these techniques and even incorporate them into your other collage images. Please share with us your finished artworks with the hashtag NinaArtChallenge or email us directly with Janice at the Nina.ca. Now uh, have fun and get to collaging and I'll see you next time.